Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing and kind of using the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I've had this palette for a while and I've literally never used it. What is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, this is an older palette of hers. Um, came out a while. I mean, it's been out for a while. Um, this is one of her more expensive palettes. It's $129 and it looks like this. So comparing it to, I have um, the retro palette right here. They actually look oh, like sort of almost the same size, but these pans are bigger. I don't know what it is with me. I just feel like there's so much makeup always coming out. And I kind of put this on the back burner because there's just so much stuff to review and talk about. So um, now I'm finally getting around to using this palette. So let's first start off with a transition shade. I am gonna go in with the color sandstone and I'm gonna start to put that in the crease and just blend. I really like the color story of this palette. It really is just like a true gold palette. I mean, you can see all the different shades of gold. She has like true golds, greeny golds, a little more like bronzy golds. I mean, a yellow gold, like. Yeah, I feel like sometimes with eyeshadow palettes, just any brand in general, they come out with palettes and the color stories like don't match what they're going for, what they're trying to go for. Sometimes brands will try to come out with like purple palettes or like a green palette, but there won't be like enough greens, you know? And obviously you don't just want to give people straight up just all green shades. But I feel like sometimes the theme of the palette does not match what the actual palette looks like is or is supposed to look like. They kind of just lose the mark. Like they almost get there. Um, I've noticed some brands are just too scared to really go for it and just really like give you a bunch of those green shades or a bunch of those purple shades without putting too much like too many transition transition shades, like too many browns and, you know, highlight shades. And then there's, you're left with like two green shades to choose from. This really is a gold palette. Like she gave you every type of shade of gold that you can give someone. So um, I really like the color story. I'm gonna go in with this shade called Dijon. This is like the most beautiful, I don't have any shade like this like a dijon mustard shade like i don't have a shade like that in any palette i feel like people would just be too scared to put a shade like that in their eyeshadow palette but i love it because i don't have anything like it now i'm gonna go in with the shade lime chrome and i'm not gonna use this on my lid i actually kind of want to use it in the crease people don't really use sh shimmers in the crease but i'm like kind of like why not you know it's like a wipe kind of just as like a i don't know i think that looks cool um i i mean i don't always use shimmers in the crease especially like this it's pretty shimmery but i don't know sometimes i just you know you just gotta like play around with it and there's no rules. And since I'm not, I'm using this fluffy brush, it's not as intense as what it would be if I used my finger. I do just want to try out these like kind of greeny golds because I feel like I really don't use any of these. And I don't have like anything like these colors in any other palettes. So I'm like, I kind of want to experiment a bit and use them. So uh, now I'm going to go in with this brass shade which is another greeny gold and i'm gonna take that this time on uh my finger Ooh, like holy shit look at that that's gorgeous okay now let's put that holy shit do you see this that's pretty cool um okay and then i want to go in with this oro is the middle shade i feel like it's the most like true gold shade out of the whole palette and i'm going to take that also on my finger and i'm just going to use this kind of in the inner part of the lid i kind of just wanted to see what it looks like 
does it totally match with that green no <laughs> but again kind of just want to play around with uh, these shades and you can just like blend them in together and then i'm going to take the shade alchemist which is this one and i'm going to use that kind of on the outer portion So I have like three different shades of gold <laughs> on my eye. I have some green gold. This is more of like a bronzy gold. Yeah, very gold. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use this like white sparkly color. This is called Sparks. This one. I'm going to use this on the inner corner and the brow bone. Ooh. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going, going to go into this blue called Aurora. The sparkly blue. We're gonna go right under. I didn't grab a lot because I didn't know how pigmented it was gonna be. It doesn't look as blue. It kind of looks like a navy blue. So I'm going to put on some mascara and then I'll be back to finish my review. Okay, I have some mascara on. So these are the eyes. Um, let's talk about this palette here. So um, I love this palette. I love Natasha Don eyeshadows in general. I really have never been disappointed with any um, eyeshadow palette or any, any eyeshadows I've used from her brand. I'm also just a big gold lover. I love gold, kind of goldy toned, bronzy eyeshadows, and this is really what that palette is. I think the color story is gorgeous. Um, the colors, I mean the shades, are gorgeous. The finishes of them are very, I mean as you can see, very metallic, very pigmented, but still easy to work with. I mean I did have a little bit of fallout in the under eyes, but I quickly wiped it away with a brush and you know that was that really but really not too much fallout at all and especially with like how metallic these are you would think there'd be more fallout but there really wasn't that much so yeah i absolutely love this palette it is a little bit expensive though 129 dollars yeah it's a lot i don't really know if she's gonna keep making these ones because lately she's just been coming out with those 65 dollar palettes and I think those have probably just been doing a little bit better because they're a little more affordable. $130 is a lot, a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette, but I think her eyeshadows are honestly worth it. Yeah, who knows, maybe down the road she'll make a smaller version of the gold palette and then more people would be willing to buy it because, I mean, this palette is just so gorgeous, but it is a little bit pricey, so just is what it is. But yeah, those are my thoughts on her palette. Um, I love it so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one bye